No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, all right? But they called you. They called you. They're already sold, okay? They're not calling around for prices. They're not calling. That's just something intelligent to ask Mm -hmm. because they are nervous. They don't want to spend money. We just mm-hmm. another truth. They, no one wants to spend any money on plumbing, so they're nervous about that. Okay, they're not they're not calling around to to get estimates. Okay, they're not calling around because they just want some plumber in their house. They have nothing better to do. Okay, <laughs> they're already sold. They want to get your butt there today. Get the problem taken care of today. All right, and then get you out of their house today. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 370th episode of Potty Talk. And this is the first part of a two-part series on how to win the plumbing sales game. Yeah. Something I know most of us are concerned about. Mm -hmm. How do we close those calls? How how do we get the sales? How do we go all about that? We get all wrapped up and concerned about that. Mm -hmm. It really is easy. Okay. If... Yes. Okay. What we're going to cover first in this first episode mm-hmm. is if the rules of the game. Okay. okay? So we're going to start by understanding what the rules of the game, what's happening when we're, we're in Mrs. Jones's house. Okay. okay. Really what's going on. Okay. Okay. So, so let's get right at it let's here because we want to, we want to learn the plumbing sales game. We want to win that game. So I do. You do? I do. I know. Most I of us do. Wait. All right. <laughs> so we, again, let's, let's just get right at it. Here. Right. I'm anxious to get at it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one. Mm-hmm. Okay on how to win the plumbing sales game. And then first we're going to cover the rules of the game. So so the number one rule is here. Okay. Okay. The number one rule, the first one is it ain't about plumbing. (gasps) What? That's genius. I know. I know. (laughs) For those who have been listening or watching for a long time, you you know, that that's something I say all the time. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Richard Bain? It's it's going to be on my tombstone. (laughs) But this, this is one of those things that's, you got to understand this. And this is really the hardest transition of going from being a plumber that's in the truck Mm -hmm. to being a a plumber owner and then an owner of of building an asset. Right. Right. And Mm -hmm. it is understanding this concept that it ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. So what what do I mean by that? That's okay. I'm I'm waiting. Okay. Well, first of all, with, with us, the plumber, okay. is the owner side of things. What I mean by that is that we're not selling plumbing. Okay. Mm. We're not selling plumbing. Yes, we're doing plumbing. I know we come back, but what, what's plumbing? We, and, I'm installing toilets and a water right. heater. And, and so we, we have to, we have to grasp this concept ourselves as the owner now of the company. And then we have to be able to translate that concept to our guys to understand this rule that yes, we're going to do good quality plumbing. We got to do good quality plumbing. It's yes. like, you know, that, that's what we do. Okay. Right. It's, that's, it's, that's a given. Right. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, you're seven foot tall. Of course you can dunk the ball. Okay. <laughs> you're expected to dunk the ball. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're doing that. Yes. All right. But it, it's, it ain't about plumbing. Okay. okay. What is it about? For the plumbing business owner. For the plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. It's about time. Okay. We're selling time. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're not selling plumbing. Yes. We're charging for the plumbing. Okay. <laughs> and the parts and all that. All right. But it ain't about plumbing. Okay. We're it's- selling time. Selling all the time. But all the time. So as the owner, we need to be aware of all the time that we're selling, not just the time on the job. Correct. Okay. But the time that it takes to even attract that customer, mm-hmm. um, the time that it takes to put the parts together, to get the parts on the truck, all, I mean, you're all, all the time. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And so we, we must grasp that concept that it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. It's about the time. Right. And that is one of the hardest things for um, guys that start out with their plumbing business, right? They're usually, we're in another company, decide they want to go out on their own and, and you know, strike it rich, go, go out on their own. How hard can it possibly be it, <laughs> to have a plumbing business is always the first thought until right. you get into it and you go, oh, crap, crap. there is a lot, <laughs> right. there is a lot to it. Um, but that, that mindset, that is the hardest thing is we've worked with many, many clients over oh. the years. That's the hardest mindset to, to try to break that it isn't about the plumbing, it's about the business of plumbing, and part of the business is time. Time. So, and that is that is the underlying foundational rule of the game. Correct. You get that down as far as the sales come into play, okay? Because mm-hmm. you yep. understand what you're selling. Mm-hmm. You're selling time, which okay. leads to yep. what your customer, what Mrs. Jones is, is really looking at. Mm-hmm. Okay, what it, is she it, looking it at? ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. She, she doesn't care mm-hmm. about the new super duper water heater or water conditioning <laughs> system and this and that. And how it works. She, works and- she don't care. <laughs> Okay, what, what does she care about? Mm-hmm. Her time. Yep. There's time again. Mm-hmm. She just wants her time back. Yes. Okay, so when we're dealing with this sales game, we're trying to win the sales game. We under, we got to understand, 
okay, what the defense wants. <laughs> Correct. Okay, I'm working the defense. Which and, is Mrs. Yeah, what Jones. she's really looking for. Right. Um, she's, she isn't looking for a new water heater or a new toilet or whatever. She's looking to get her day back and she's looking for hot water. Right. Right. So, or whatever it is, or that sound to stop or that leak to stop or what, that's what she's looking for. Um, and she wants to get her time back. We're a busy society. Everybody's busy. And a plumbing, plumbing issue is an interruption nobody it wants. Was. Nobody yeah, wants. Yeah, we love plumbing. We're in the plumbing. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to be, okay, still be in the plumbing. Mm -hmm. But that's not what it's about. Okay. Not for Mrs. And, and, Jones. And our customers don't don't care about that. Mm -mm. They really don't. It just all comes down to their time. Right. So again, we really just want to get across as, you, as you're going out to your customer's home, Mrs. Jones, typically, and we always say Mrs. Jones, because right. normally it's the, the wife that's taking care of things. Um, her, her mindset is I want you in and I want you out and I want the problem taken care of. Right. 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 And that's it. Be gone with you. Yeah, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Get out>. <laughs> right. So if you understand that, okay, it's about mm -hmm. their time. Right. Okay. Which then also leads to um, the, you know, the third thing about it ain't about plumbing. Okay. We're back to the idea of as plumbers, we think it's the fix. Okay. And we're all about the fix, but it's not about the fix. It's about the experience. <laughs> okay. It's about mm -hmm. the experience that you provide. Um, if you're, if you're making it about plumbing, you're playing the wrong game that's happening here. So that's, mm -hmm. that's why you're not, one of the reasons you're not closing calls. Or, or they're, they're, they're coming back at you and saying, well, we're just getting prices. Right, or, and you talk to my husband. You talk to my husband. Right. It's because you've made it about the fix. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about the experience. Yes. Okay. And what I mean by that is the experience from the first time, you know, you, you answer, you know, take their call, mm -hmm. the way you answer the call. The experience of getting, again, it's about time. The experience of getting them on the schedule today. Right. Working the call today. Yes. Working with their schedule. Right. Yes. And, and getting out there and taking care of them today. Right. Making it very easy for them to do business with you. Sure. Well, and the experience part too is um, how do you pull up in the, in their driveway or, or, you know, do you park on the street or whatever? What kind of truck do you have? What the experience is how you, um, how they answer, how, when they answer the door, what do you look like? What do you, you know, are you on a messy uniform and, you know, you got a cigarette that you're flicking out as you walk across <laughs> exactly. their yard. Right. right. All this, all the stereotypes, all, which it all matters. There's a reason why they're stereotypes because they're true. Yes. Okay. Now I'm not talking about, I've seen guys, you know, we've taken guys, you know, we've transitioned through the years of, you know, you know, tats have become a thing, ear gauges mm -hmm. and all that kind of, all those kinds of things. Look, the customers will accept that. It's more socially acceptable it, now. Right. It's acceptable. And it's, they figure it's, you know, you're a plumber, you're mm -hmm. a tradesman and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you need to still be kind of cleaned up. So that's what, you know, the experience, part of the experience is being uniformed. Yes. Ha you know, having a brand presence. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to be the best talker. And that, that's why, you know, with this whole the sales training and that kind of stuff, we, we, as we're looking at it, we think there's some kind of special words to be able to handle the, the you know, the, their pushback and all mm -hmm. that. It, it, you don't need special words. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the experience. Mm -hmm. In fact, what you don't need, you need less words, okay? You need to listen. <laughs> listen more. Actively listen to Mrs. Jones. That's part of the experience. So when she's telling you what's going on, and even though you already kind of know what the deal is and all that, that you're actively, she can feel your energy, yes. that, that you're listening to she her. She wants to be heard. And be understood, you know? So that's all part of the, the experience. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with plumbing. Notice that. None of that, you know, what you're no. wearing has nothing to do with plumbing. I hear that. Well, you know, I just got dirty. We're dirty. We're working. I don't, Miss, <laughs> Mrs. The new, Mrs. Jones, your house that you're going to now doesn't care. Doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't right. care. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's all those kinds of things, part Correct. of the experience. So number one, mm -hmm. it ain't about plumbing. It ain't about plumbing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, number, the second rule that, that we just need to grasp and just, just take to heart and understand, and it's this. No one wants to spend money on plumbing. <laughs> okay. All right. So stop being freaked out when they ask how much, or even when you tell them how much their head spins around or some throw up or whatever, whatever happens. No one wants to spend money on plumbing. Mm -hmm. So there's no special way um, or words to come, you know, around that, or, you know, you don't, you don't need to be upset. Right. In fact, expect that. Yes. Right. And you've all experienced this. I'm um, right. being out in a lot of Mrs. Jones's houses, I'm assuming is, you know, you'd, you'd say what the price is, or hopefully you're giving right. them lovely options, at least three, not at least three, exactly three options. Right. Well, we, um, we'll and, cover that down the road here. Okay. Sorry. Well, you're, you're jumping the, oh, I'm jumping the shark. Yeah, well, okay. Then I'll just okay. wait. <laughs> 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 that Mrs. Jones, um, the reaction though, that you're getting from Mrs. Jones when you're doing the options and you're, it's always a gulp, right? Right. N no one ever is like, Oh, that's awesome. Right. I can't wait to spend this money on plumbing. No, of course not. Right. But because we're not delivering flowers or pizzas. Right. Right. right I mean, right. it doesn't, 
Mm-hmm. It, you know, we, we got to get, got to get over it. So the, these are, you know, the, what I call, I'm calling the, 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 you know, playing rules here, but these are really um, foundational um, truths mm-hmm. that you must understand if you're truly wanting to win the sales game. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have to, you have to understand these two, these things here, right. you know, it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. No one mm-hmm. wants to spend money on plumbing. Mm-hmm. No one wants to spend money on plumbing. Mm-hmm. So expect the pushback. So, when so you there's get, always a gulp. There, there's always a gulp. <laughs> there's always right. a gulp. All right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and it doesn't matter whether you're charging $50 an hour or $500 an hour. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. And it's always too expensive. Right. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it always is. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, we hear, you know, examples of, you know, the guys, you know, especially like in train calls. Mm-hmm. You know, I just had a conversation with, with someone about this where they, they can only feel they can, you know, charge, you know, 140 some dollars or something like that for a, a, a okay. fixture drain opening. Mm-hmm. Well, we know guys that are doing over 500 bucks mm-hmm. for a fixture drain opening and they're getting that all day long. Right. Why? Because mm-hmm. they understand it ain't about plumbing and everything that implies. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they understand that no one wants to spend any money on plumbing. So mm-hmm. there's always going to be pushback and, a, you know. A thing there. It doesn't matter. Right. And they're giving the customer the experience as well, right. which goes along. You can't charge 500 and some dollars for a fixture drain opening and showing up in a, a ratty truck right. and crappy uniform and unshaved, you know, sloppy, whatever. But I'm doing plumbing. I'm a plumber. <clears throat> this is right. what plumbers do. This is I'm plumbing. Well, well, you don't get to, then you're not going to get to sell you're mm-hmm. not, because you don't get it. Right. Okay. Or you get, you get lumped into where you're a commodity. I mean, where you're a commodity and you never can go low enough. Right. When you're, so you're just a dead man plumbing at that point. Exactly. You know? Mm-hmm. And so, no, these, these are underlying, these are foundational truths that you must understand. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's true. And then the third one, the third one is, is a killer here. Okay. Important, okay? okay. But get that. I have something here for you. All okay. Right. Just because you're joining us here. All right. It's my MDP blueprint. Mm -hmm. Okay. In it, I lay out the exact specs that you need to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. All right. It's all there for you. 30 years of experience. Okay. Of mistakes and lost money. Okay. (laughs) Or you don't have to make the same mistakes and lose all the money. Okay. You can go right to the top. (laughs) We did that for you. All right. (laughs) You're welcome. All right. It's all laid out there for you and it's free. Okay. There's no catch. It's free. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free mm-hmm. and grab your free copy. Okay. So yep. there we go. Also, just want to remind everybody, go out and follow us on social media. We're out on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, all past potty talk um, episodes are out there. Please don't go back to some of the older ones though, because they're really painful <laughs> to watch. <laughs> but anyway, share, share this episode or go follow us on social media. We'd really appreciate it. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's get back at it. Okay. How to win the plumbing sales game. Mm-hmm. Part one here. We're understanding the rules, okay, the, the, rules found, the foundational truths okay. Okay, of the game here. Okay. okay. Finally, number three. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. And this is a biggie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Grasp this one. Okay. Grasp this. And it's this, the customer is already sold. What? The customer is already sold. <laughs> but I thought they didn't want to, <laughs> I thought they didn't want to spend money with plumber. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Okay. I've, mm-hmm. I've said that. You know, all right. I mean, times. and that's this coming out of the life experience. Thirty years of dealing with this. Okay, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. All right, but they called you. They called you. They're already sold. Okay, they're not calling around for prices. They're not calling. That's just something intelligent to ask mm-hmm. because they are nervous. They don't want to spend money. We just mm-hmm. another, another truth. No one wants to spend any money on plumbing, so they're nervous about that. Okay, they're not they're not calling around to to get estimates. Okay, they're not calling around because they just want some plumber in their house. They have nothing better to do. Okay, <laughs> they're already sold. They want to get your butt there today. Get the problem taken care of today. All right, and then get you out of their house today. Okay, right. not the next day or not down the road here. Okay, and that kind of a thing. It's it's today. Mm-hmm. All right, they're already sold. They're already sold. Because they need to get the work done. Right. It's right. They called you. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've seen it time and time again. If you can grasp that concept in the, in the companies that I see that go from being, we have our own clients have been, you know, they're, they're thousands of dollars in debt and have no money. And in in a couple of years, they're a multi-million dollar plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. By following these rules. Right. And they're they're this, they're this simple. These rules are really this simple. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, but not necessarily easy because we want to fight it. And this is one that we want to fight. Okay, mm-hmm. that we think, um, you know, we don't realize the customer is already sold. And really, we wind up losing it by our actions. Okay, by the way we freak them out. Or by not not um, following the rules of the game, by right. not understanding that really what they want is their, their day back. Right. 
and they really don't want to spend money with you. Um, and you've got to give them the experience, right? You have to give them the experience. It can't be broke, fix plumber going in, um, not listening to Mrs. Jones, right. just going in and saying, well, I can put a um, bandage and some super glue on this and your toilet will be good right. as new for Whatever. a month. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, they're, they're already sold. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if we understand these, these basic, these foundational truths, everything, uh, it just, it just falls right in place. Mm -hmm. And okay. with rules of the game, it's like once you know the rules and you keep just keep them in your head when other things happen, you know, the customer right. freaking out about price or whatever, you stay calm because yeah. these are just, this, are, this is the rules of, of the game. Of course they're going to freak out of about price. Of course they're going to freak out. They don't want to spend any money with. Right. They don't want to spend money on plumbing. Mm -hmm. Do you want to spend money on plumbing? <laughs> or getting your car, car fixed. fixed or, or whatever. I mean, we all. Of course not. Right. Those, under, those interrupted um, day, what, are, what would I call it? The interruptions to your day or those just. Oh man, that kind of thing, right? right. Break job needs done or whatever. Of course you don't want to spend money on those things. You just don't. Exactly. A roof. Who wants uh, to put a new roof on? Right. Nobody. Right. These are the foundational truths. Mm -hmm. You get these three foundational truths. You, you eat, sleep, and breathe, <laughs> you know, at first. And after a while, it just becomes what you breathe in and out. I mean, it becomes that. It's just, just, just how it is. You make this, these foundational truths mm -hmm. part of your business. Everything else just falls in the place. Right. And well, also what happens um, is if you have that attitude with your staff, right. with, with your plumbers, it's just this calming, you know, the plumbers might, your plumbers might be freaking out. Oh, they're, Mrs. Jones didn't like the price or this happened or that. And you know, the rules of the game and you're right. just calm and confident that spills over <laughs> to the rest of the team. Exactly. All right. But if you get all uptight and oh, I know these customers and blah, they're dripping us off or they never understand or you spread that in, in through your team. And yeah, it, sales will it definitely does, go. Right. Down. It doesn't matter what kind of sales training, what the words you say and all that. And of course they're going to enjoy the sales training you bring in because they usually get a free lunch and <laughs> it's free time and they sit mm -hmm. back and smile and just whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it won't matter if you don't have these under, have these understand the rules of the game. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. It ain't about plumbing. Mm -hmm. No one wants to spend money on plumbing <laughs> and the customer is already sold. <laughs> All right. It's a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. It's an easy slam dunk. There we go. Those are the rules of the game. All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, don't miss the next. The, I know this is just part one, right. right? We have part two coming up. Exactly. There's more oh. rules. No, no more. We got the rule. These okay. are, these are the rules. These okay. are easy, simple rules. Okay, okay. So the next part is how to win the plumbing sales. Okay. Game, how do we close? How, you know, how Ooh. do we score on every call? All, All right. right. And you do, you do these things. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a no brainer. <laughs> That's why I just want to shake guys. you right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey. It's great having you here. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So get out there and plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.